Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a quick video. However, a lot of times I do say quick video and it's really not a quick video, but I'm thinking it's going to be a quick video because I just wanted to share something that I got. Um, I don't know how if Groupon is a thing that's all over the United States or if it's just in New England or just in Massachusetts where I live, but there's this thing online. It's called Groupon and basically it's like discounted um, like discounts for certain things, whether it be like going out to dinner for a certain restaurants, um, you know, stuff like that. But, and I get all the emails saying, you know, what's kind of like hot, what's, you know, in trend or whatever. But the other day I was on there and I saw these and it just came today. And it's basically, it's a little, um, bracelet. And then I have my initial there. I don't know if you can see it. It's an A. Um, and I thought, you know what, and it was heavily discounted. And of course, I don't think it's real gold or anything. But I thought, how cute is that? I mean, look, oops, there's a thing, there's a glare. Because I am such a bracelet person. I love bracelets. So usually anytime I see a bracelet that I would wear or I like, I usually try to get it. So, I mean, it's something simple. It's just held like this so it's not too tight it can open more and then it has my little a on there and just don't look at that tattoo because that's just so gross but see very cute so that's what i wanted to share yeah so groupon is um it's a actually it's something that i use every christmas because i get really good deals for things for my family for christmas and there is actually one Groupon that I buy religiously every christmas and for my mom's birthday because she really likes it too there's this um, store. Well, it's actually, uh, it's part of a store. Um, there's a, like a sandwich shop. It's called Sandwich Works near my parents' house. But inside, they also sell this other company's products. And um, it's called the Savage Wiener. <laughs> and I know it's a funny name for um, like a restaurant, but it sells all these like um, quirky hot dogs. Uh, well, well, the toppings are so it's like, you know, it's like a bun with a hot tub, but then it has all these um, like fun toppings on it. Uh, and there's like a whole menu of like toppings that, you know, there's my favorite, actually, I think it's called what is it called? The healthy dog, maybe it's something boring. It's like healthy dog, but it's just this like homemade coleslaw that's not really coleslaw. It's like a almost like a broccoli slaw, and it has like all this other stuff in it, and then it goes on top of the hot dog. Um, like my kids like the um, I think it's like the Tex Mex dog, where it has like the chili and the chips and stuff on top of it. So it's like you know those kind of hot dogs. So um, I love ordering that for Christmas because you get a deal where you get four um, four hot dogs for the specific price, which is almost basically like you're getting, you're buying one and getting three free and they only do it, you know, usually around the holidays. Um, so I always get that. And then I also get it again for my mom's birthday. So, um, I'm really big on Groupons and they always have fun things like, um, one year I did laser tag for my kids and I could get, you know, the tickets for laser tag at a very discounted price. So say like the entrance fee was $20. If you buy it through Groupon, you could probably get it for like $5. It's something like that. So I like, uh, looking on it for, um, you know, unique presents that you don't, you can't just go to the store and buy. And that's why I always find them. So that is my little Groupon story, which, and uh, showing my little new bracelet, which I really, really like. Um, the other thing I actually wanted to talk about too, was I wanted to do some more of those uh, uh, recreating art videos. I did already do one and it was, I think off Instagram that I, I found a image that I kind of, oh, it's actually right here, um, that I recreated, you know, in my own, my own fashion. And I really like this and it's on my desk because I actually don't want to use it. I want to keep it forever, which, oh gosh, I do that to too much stuff. But anyways, um, I've also been, so I've been doing like screen grabs of certain projects that I want to do. Um, and then actually, uh, the collab that I'm doing, the, um, oh gosh, and I can't say it, um, 
oh, I have the cheat sheet here. It's the, <laughs> the second Saturday stash slash seven, that open collab that I'm doing. Um, there was one month that the prompts I used, I ended up making a tassel, which I'm not going to tell you what month and I'm not going to tell you anything else about it because I want it to be a surprise for when that month comes out. But I've really liked making the tassel. So I was watching different videos and I found this one video where the woman, she did it with um, uh, the eyelash trim and then a couple pieces of ribbon, but it came out so neat. And so I started watching different people's um, like, how to create like how they create and stuff like that and I was really interested so I want to also get into making some tassels on on camera with you guys so what I did and I know this looks like a lot but <laughs> I see that some people use the the book rings these things um oh they're all kind of attached but you know what I mean you you've seen people use the these um they just open like that. So that way you can actually attach the tassel onto something else. Then I saw some people use, these are like the key rings that your um, like car keys would really go on. Um, hold on, let me show you. These, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows what they are, you know, and you have to open this and then you slip your keys on. So I've seen some people use these and then some people use these. So I thought, you know what, let me try some of each. And I actually went to the Dollar Tree to look for these and I got some and I got the smaller ones, but they're actually really big. So I don't know if I'm gonna use these um, to make tassels, but you never know. But I have these as backup. But I mean, I have tons. And the funny thing is I ordered these online on Amazon and these are like, really cheap but they come in a lot so I thought you know whatever I'll just buy it because of the price and I got a whole bunches of them so I do want to try making some tassels with these uh what like you know each type just to see if there's a difference that I can see um I also want to see if I can find any other videos that incorporate you know these kind of hardware um in the project because I mean I have so many and it's might as well see if I can do some other projects with them. But that is what I'm going to be up to recently. Um, I'm kind of stuck in a rut right now, like in terms of creating junk journals. I think I have two or three started and it just every once in a while, I just kind of lose my mojo. And um, instead of getting all down in the dumps, I'm looking for other projects, you know, like small projects to do as I'm getting back my mojo and it's actually really helping because it's not so overwhelming. So like, even like, for example, this, I did it in one video. Um, and if I want to do another one, it literally doesn't take more than 15 minutes. So I need little easy projects like that to keep my creative flow going, but not not to become overwhelming. Um, like, you know, making a journal, it's, it's a big process. You know, there's lots of elements that go into it, creating it and everything like that. And, um, I don't want to lose that. So instead of like forcing myself to, let me just hurry up and finish it. Let me just do it. I don't want to do that because then I probably won't like the way the journal comes out. So I put the journals aside in their own little baskets. Um, like I learned from Sherry <laughs> and, uh, you know, all the stuff that goes through each journal is in each of them. And, um, you know, eventually I'll get back to finishing each journal. But for now, I did want to just focus on um, doing little projects that, like I said, will keep my creativity going, but won't be so overwhelming. So actually, what I need from you guys is, if this ever happens to you, if you kind of lose your mojo a little bit, um, do you do, well, number one, do you do little projects to kind of help you back in? And if you do, what do you do? What kind of little projects do you do? Or number two, if you don't, how do you sort of, you know, recover from the little lull in the crafting or in your normal crafting, I should say. So, um, actually the, the video wasn't too, too long, <laughs> a little longer than I thought, but you know, once I start talking, uh, 
it happens. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my little bracelet show, my little Groupon 101, and my show of what I'm about to try to venture off on. So that is it for the, today's video. Um, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, or if you have any ideas of little projects, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to see what everybody else does. But for now, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.